We're also getting ready for that crucial second leg in the CAF Confederation Cup for Enugu Rangers. What a story it was. Um, they couldn't win at the Cathedral. They played 2 2 with Zesco. Uh, return leg. Uh, you see, it's all about this. We need to prepare properly. A lot of talking points as regards Enugu Rangers. Just also mentioned that Rivers United will take on Ryan Sports of Rwanda. The team, they've already touched down. Uh, they touched down in Lagos and then took a connecting flight to Portaco. Alfred, let me get you talking. What's the situation with Enugu Rangers? Where will they be in um, Zambia to play the second leg? Rangers to hit, they will sleep in Addis, uh, to speak, <laughs> they will spend the night in Addis Ababa. Goodness. Tomorrow, catch a five hour flight. And then get, get to Zambia outside. Get to Zambia at about uh, 2 o'clock, 2, 2.45. And we thought we would, that, that calf did well for us to move the game four hours forward. So these guys no, get... It's because, it's, because of, it's because of, you know, at that point when they didn't board the flight yesterday in Enugu, hmm. it became obvious that they can't, there's no way they will make it to Ndola um, at 2 o'clock. Uh, no direct two, flight to Ndola. No direct flight to Ndola. So you must stop fly through Eti, Ethiopia Airlines. And then from at these five Adi. hours... For guys that have a crucial that, game. I, I, I was at the airport this morning when the team left. And let, that, let me just say that for me, as far as I'm concerned, they left in batches. Hmm. 18 players, two officials, the head coach, Chukuma Agbo, and the team manager, uh, uh, Amobi Ezeaku, yeah. where the two accompanying officials. All that had to go to Uwere. Catch a flight from Uwere to Kaduna to catch another easy flight to, uh, out of uh, Nigeria. They all spend the night in Addis today and tomorrow. Touchdown. So touchdown two forty five Alfred. Prepare what time for the match? Oh, no, you, you, I mean we've we've done <laughs> we've gone through this before. We were at the Olympics. Oh. We know how we got to the Olympics, how we left the airport to the stadium. That's exactly what's gonna a player told me this um this morning, also now I must tell you, and it's just instructive. What was the point um that where the management and the players refused to? We wanted okay, we are going, we knew of this match. Hmm. Give us our money. You say no. It's clearly when you know. You say, you say no. Oh, the money is not available now, you know. But it's been signed and approved. You guys go when we come back. He said, okay, no problem. You can go and play. We went we and boarding this flight and went back to the camp. It was at that point when the flight now, it was at that point, everybody, Austin, the money came out. Mm -hmm. Okay. The you money go. came out. Okay. At that time, okay, now money available. No flight to go to. They now so, had to start making contingent. Content so the problem of Enugu Rangers is Enugu Rangers. It, That's what it is. The, the, the self destruct <sighs> button, oh as far as I'm concerned. Was just to have management. My goodness. So that's the story. Enugu Rangers, uh, not yet. And in Dola, they're going to play we, a crucial... We hope, we hope. Like I was speaking to one of the players yesterday, and he was very, very spiritual about it. Who is it that will speak? When I, the Lord, has not spoken, that was the quotation he gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it is not over. So, and we're just coming from that beach soccer uh, camp where um, Coach Aldo was saying that, look, we need a better preparation. Now, this one is... Does not, this, no federation is involved with this one. We're talking about the defending team. champions of the Nigeria Professional Football League. So let's talk about Rivers Angels. Let's see if that one might give us reasons to smile. And they're going to play Ryan Sport. Yeah. They win this one properly. They can just go to Rivers Rwanda. United, and you mean? Rivers Angels. United. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, we've, we've seen them win 30 nil at home against one of the biggest teams in, in Africa, uh, America of Sudan, and <laughs> then threw it all the way. Oh, my goodness. 4 nil they lost. And uh, it's very embarrassing. Mm. But this time around, they're playing against Ryan Sport of Cote d'Ivoire, and we do expect them to win convincingly again like they did against uh, uh, oh, America. Right. The difference this time around mm. is do the job when you go away from home. We, mm. are, we know they can win at home. Yeah. Yes. Can you now finish off the job when you get away from home? And don't hurt yourself again like Enugu Rangers are about to do to themselves. Oh. Really. Oh. Otherwise, we will regret this. The way we are meddling with, uh, with, with, the, with the Continental Games looks like in a year or two, we may just have one slot taken away from both the Champions League and the Cup Confederations Cup uh, positions and we'll be having just two representatives instead of four that we are currently enjoying at the mm. moment. That cannot continue. It will mm. not do us any good here or outside here. So it's going to be Enugu Rangers of Nigeria taking on Zesco United of Zambia. That game will be played on Saturday. So uh, by virtue of gaining four hours or uh, more, so about 6 p.m., yeah. that game will be played. Um, Enugu Rangers will get a dollar tomorrow and they're playing. 
tomorrow. For Rivers United, we play on Sunday. Enugu Rangers, um, they have told Coach Imama to go. Um, Coach Ikumagbo is in charge now, so let's see what they can do with that one. Let's talk through the Nigerian National League now. That one also giving us a lot of reasons to talk sports. The Southern Conference is on fire. Warrior Wolves will take on Ikorodu. This is about week eight of this league. They mm. just started and then yeah. it's already, okay. it's already this, running this, away. These are the two teams that are at the bottom yeah. bottom <laughs> of, of the, the bottom league. Yeah. So it gives them an opportunity of um, one of them just picking up points and see what they can do. Or oh, maybe they'll just say, let's share it. We'll <laughs> never know. My people will take on uh, Hatland, Washington United. will take on Go Round. It's Papilo versus Gateway United. Unison Rovers will clash with in the way United. Abia comments to take on first back. Aqua Stalers will play Delta Force. So that's that's an interesting matchup mm. right there. Uh, let's see what Delta Force can do uh, at Ecom. And then AS Racine will play Crown FC of Bielsa and Bielsa United. Inform Bielsa United. Yeah, to lose again. Yeah, to lose Has to again. be said. Yeah, the thing, you know. Benelli Sheraz. The Northern Conference. FC Abuja will take on Yobi Desert Stars. FC Taraba will play Afe Babalola. Zamfara Football Club will play Adamawa United. While FRSC will take on Sokoto United. Jigawa Golden Stars will play Kwara United. And Kaduna United will play Kogi United. So it's a clash of the United. United. So, <laughs> so, so that's it with um, the Nigerian National League. Alfred, just a word or two as regards the NNL before you leave. I think the, the NNL is uh, beginning to enjoy, you know, get into the football space, mm. get people attention, get people talking. I mean, of course, if you look at the pedigree of teams playing the NNL, the likes of Heartland, the likes of Warri Wolves, these are traditional teams in Nigeria, Bayasa United. And mm. These are teams that have followership. They have people who really passionately uh, support them. They run into hard times or not too bad um, The NNL and the way they've organized the league now, giving it a face mm. and of course all of the branding ha happening around it. Mm. I mean, it's, the space is big enough. Just yeah. like uh, as you mentioned earlier, yeah. Nigeria is a huge country. We mm. have the resource and the people, especially the That's people, right. to That's really the market so, right there. So the space is big enough. I think mm. um, f what LMC is enjoying, the NNL too is also having a piece of the cake. So, Lou, if I let you go, um, just imagine Ben Dele Sharas back in the mix. Oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great to have the traditional teams back and then you can imagine the kind of support uh, we'll get from Edo State. Just mm -hmm. like it's, it's going to be exactly what happened with MFMFC and Ecuador United being promoted to the MPFL last Lagos year. Came and alive. Lagos came alive. All yeah. of a sudden, Lagos look, look, that looked like never were, were like interested, they were not interested with football. All of a sudden, mm. we, we became such an interesting state, uh, right. you know, so imagine that Benelli Charles are back in the mix and then you can just imagine what it's going to mean for Let's everyone. Let's keep it with that imagination. Mm. Just thank, imagine. Thank you so much, Talu, for coming around.